Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships. Now this is going to be a very quick game. Um, it's not actually really about me to be honest. This was a very generic Cleveland game. Uh, did some damage, shot some people. I don't think I've got any, actually got any kills. But the thing about this game, which is why I'm showing it to you, is something happened which really, really irritated me. Um, I don't think I've seen such a case of terminal stupidity. Um, in a very long time, actually. Um, I think I have seen something like this, well not like this, but something as bad before, but your guess is as good as mine as to exactly when it was. In fact, your guess is worse, because obviously not everything I do gets put up here. But this is just this just takes the cake, so... We now have free camera, in theory. Like that. So this is something I learned how to do. So that's me. And I'm just doing something very kind of generic at the moment. So yeah, we're just aiming at him. The well, I've lost sight of him, in fact. But that gunnery that gunnery was quite good in this game actually. I was I was quite happy with my gunnery. There we've got two hits. There we go in the Nuremberg. What type of game is this actually? It is a tier 6 game, good, so we're top tier. Come on. Take the return fire, took a hit on the stern, just took a thousand damage. So it's not too bad, trying to stay angled. Reopening the range, because people are firing at us, they're shooting at us, how could they? Turn away, and... Pow! Close, but no cigar. So let's let's switch the free camera off and see what's going on. I'm not actually okay. I'm not actually aiming at anybody at the moment. But they're all out of range anyway, so I'm now turning round to get back towards the thing. So let's see what's happening over here. Everybody's doing a lemming thing up this side of the map. So if you look down here, we've got battleships, battleship cruisers, all kind of in a group down here, and then we've got destroyer, a couple of cruisers with a battleship in support heading up this way, and our carrier is quite sensibly hiding in the corner somewhere where we can't see him where they can't see him and now we're advancing so I'm supporting um, Mr. Nuremberg, our Nuremberg who's going around the left side of the island uh, Destroyer has got torpedoes away just there and we have Queen Elizabeth, New York and another. there is definitely another cruiser over there we just don't have sight on him at the moment so I start aiming ready to put some shots into HMS Queen Elizabeth. I don't know whether this counts as treason or not actually because I am British and that is a British battleship. But when I did this game I was actually demoing it to a um, some friends Some friends came around our house and I was um, showing their teenage son the game. So I was just demoing this game and it was not a particularly good advertisement because this game went absolutely horribly wrong. But no, we're getting some good hits. We've set a fire. He's used his repair kit. So what I'm trying to do now is set another fire. Because um, he's burned his repair kit on the previous one. So if I set another one, then um, that one will have to carry on burning. However, he's approach approaching maximum range. There we go. We have a fire. Now that's going to keep burning. So I'm going to get quite a lot of damage from that. He's just fired at me. And I've just hit the edge of the map because I am a genius. New York is getting it, he's out. Awesome, we've taken the New York. So we're currently two up. So they've lost two, we've not lost any. This is an, this is an important thing to remember. Um, our team have now all managed to congregate down here. And I'm doing a full turn. The Queen Elizabeth is getting some uh, nice attention from our carrier. Good to see him doing his thing. So dive bombers in now. <laughs> Torpedo bombers. And they managed to get one hit. That's not too bad going for for um, torpedoes actually. For airborne torpedoes, they can be a bit of a pain. So now we're aiming at him. So he started moving forward, so those shots are going to miss. 
but now we're shifting our aim forward. I think those might get hit him, but he's moving away now, so they he might be out of the way before they get there. But he's got a load more fires. We're up to 13,000 damage, which is not that impressive, to be honest. Yeah, we got some hits. They all shattered. Oh, he's going around the corner now. So we don't have we don't have view on him anymore. I managed to collide with somebody. Him. Some more, sh some more shots off from the front turrets. Sierra man. Did he? No, that wasn't him. That's somebody else. Ah, cool. So you'll notice now the geniuses that make up the rest of our team have now all decided they're all just going to sit there. Um, the enemy carrier has discovered our carrier. So he's... Uh, I've no idea how this guy managed to dodge those torpedoes. Look at that. I was watching that and I was like, what? What's going on? But nope, he's managed to avoid them, so that's good going for him. So the geniuses in the team are now all sitting in a nice little tight in four grid squares. Most of our team is in four grid squares. But even then, we have still managed to take another ship out. And that Queen Elizabeth is not long for this world. So we're actually in, we're actually in game terms. We're not actually doing too badly. But the real disaster is yet to come. So you'll notice they've just started capping. And I'm going to put the free camera back on now. Because all, all I do now is I just drive towards the cap circle and start capping. The actual interesting bit is over here. So let's head over here. So, just to establish what's definitely happening. If this is moving so slowly, but we're nearly there. We've now taken out four of their ships as well, by the way. So we're, we're well ahead. Here is the cap circle. You'll notice that we're being capped. You will also notice there is no visible ship, which means it's the enemy destroyer. So the enemy destroyer is sitting pretty in our cap circle, capping. We have, let me just turn the, let me just turn the camera around. We have two battleships. We have one battleship and two cruisers. Notice what none of them are doing. I've actually put in chat look to stop the cap. They aren't doing anything. So I'm up here. So I'm up here with the cruiser. We're we're at it. We're attacking their cap. So if if they can stop the cap, we can cap and we can win. We are now five ships. They they we're down a ship. Okay, fine. But we're winning like in kills. Um, the carrier is doing his best with planes to spot. But he's not going to spot anything. There, oh, there's the destroyer. Yeah, so the destroyer is sitting in their cap circle, just there. But he's just got his smoke screen up. You know, like like you do. What are these idiots doing? What are they? They're going round the island. Like do these, these morons not realise. Like in a minute, we're, we're they're going to cap and we're going to lose. And then they've got no excuse. These are tier five players. Like they they should know what they're doing. If this was tier ones or tier twos or tier threes, yeah, I could I could sympathise. But just go into the cap, <laughs> like like it's stressing me out just watching this. Go into the cap circle. How could you be so? Okay, somebody's launched torpedoes. So the carrier player knows what's up. He's actually doing something useful. But this battleship, what's he doing? I'm not I'm not going to show his player name because that would just be. He's going to be. He's not just go into the cap circle. Like. Oh, I'm shooting down some bombers. And then we lost. And that was it. That was the game. Like, that has got to be the stupidest defeat I have ever suffered. Like, I didn't exactly cover myself in glory because I played on a distinctly average game. But we should have won that easily. We should have won that. And, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that little example of pointless stupidity. And, um... I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.